Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2017. I am delighted to be joined by Tish Berard, President-elect at the International Trademark Association. INTER is a not-for-profit organization of trademark owners and professionals. Its mission is to make commerce fairer and protect consumers. So why is an institution like yours at WISIS? We're looking for opportunities where we can partner with other organizations um, in order to achieve our common goals. And the one thing I've learned uh, attending WISIS, this is my first time being here, is that we do have a lot of goals that are similar. Uh, for instance, ac accessibility, uh, informing and educating consumers and uh, business owners. Uh, so there's a lot of things we could do together to accomplish our goals, uh, uh, you know, and, and not have to separate our resources, but actually pool our resources together so that we're more effective at doing so. So how can ICT help trademark owners and professionals and give them a more level playing field in business? As IT, ICTs expand, um, more and more people are going to have access to the internet. And that means that more and more people are going to be selling their wares, their products, uh, their ideas on the internet. Oftentimes, they're so concerned about the business aspect of that, reaching consumers, collecting money, that they're not really thinking about the ownership aspects. And so, at the International Trademark Association, we want to educate people to be at the forefront and to be thinking about those uh, issues at the beginning so that when they're putting their products out there on the internet, they're not then having uh, unscrupulous uh, business people come in, take their products and their ideas and try to pass them off as their own. We want business owners who come up with these wonderful ideas and products to receive the benefits of, that, uh, of those ideas. So it's a double whammy, isn't it? So ICT gives them more protection, right? but it also gives them access to greater market opportunities. Absolutely. So earlier you spoke on a panel dedicated to gender mainstreaming. Can you tell us what gender mainstreaming is, what you discussed, and the key insights? Gender mainstreaming is just trying to make um, opportunities more available for women, not only in relation to ICTs, um, but I think in business in general. Uh, even in developed countries, uh, such as the United States, where I'm from, uh, women uh, play a larger role in business, but we're still not paid equally. We still don't have the high level opportunities that others, uh, that men have. And so it's important to bring together uh, groups of people who are thinking about this, and, and not just women, by the way, men and women who are thinking about this issue, because it really is incumbent upon all of us to try to make uh, business places equal for everyone, because there's so many women with great opportunity, with great ideas uh, that can contribute, and they're being silenced or not heard just sim by virtue of simply being a woman. Um, and so some of the key points that were uh, take away from the panel was just that, uh, that we need to work with men. It's not, a, it's not a women's issue, it's an everyone issue. And so partnering with men, um, with everyone, uh, is a key factor in, in moving forward these ideas and these goals. Tish Birad, thank you very much. Thank you.